Let's start by simplifying the data by showing two performance metrics, energy use intensity and building embodied carbon. The red dot represents the benchmark design at the concept stage. Its performance can be calculated, but how does it compare to all the possibilities within the design space? Typically in a linear design, a handful of options can be assessed. The first option considers a design with lower energy relative to the benchmark. The second option considers a design with lower building embodied carbon relative to the benchmark. However, this approach still falls short in fully exploring the design space, providing a limited perspective on the design possibilities. To address these limitations, DAISY incorporates multi-objective optimization using a genetic algorithm. This approach efficiently explores the design space to identify the most optimal solutions, enabling designers to break free from designing in the dark. With multi-objective optimization, we can now identify all the design options that offer improvements from the benchmark, as shown by the blue shaded area. Moving in this direction represents a Preto improvement, empowering designers and clients to make more informed decisions at the early stages of the design process. Lastly, the red line represents the Preto front, where the most optimal solutions exist. Along this front, there will always be a trade-off between improving one objective at the expense of another. This provides an opportunity for creativity in choosing the preferred design while remaining grounded in evidence-based thinking. Moreover, DAISY incorporates physics-informed machine learning, utilizing the vast amounts of data generated by computational engines to train machine learning models and thus create surrogate models. These surrogate models provide instantaneous performance information, injecting further creativity into the design process.